here we have a Warner Electric Next Drive that we are having a particular output problem with. As you know, variable frequency drives take the power from the wall and makes it variable so that we can control the torque and speed of a motor. Here we have wired all of our control I.O. wiring and have provided an external 24 volt supply so that the drive can be controlled in a local mode by pressing the run button. However, this drive has a problem which we will demonstrate. We have the power going in and to simulate our motor we have light bulbs. This allows us to do our tests safely. So we will first demonstrate what happens before the drive trips out and we will see the waveform pattern of the output of the AC on the oscilloscope here. Now any viewers be warned that monitoring AC power with an oscilloscope is a dangerous task and should be done only by personnel with experience and the correct setup to do so. To not follow the basic rules of doing this could result in a large fire or catastrophic failure. Definitely monitoring AC with an oscilloscope is dangerous work so all safety precautions need to be met. Now we will go ahead and run the output. We have the AC lines being monitored with our oscilloscope and we have power going to the drive. We will go ahead and clear the fault and we're going to show you the waveform as we hit run. We will go ahead and hit run and we'll look at the waveform before it falls out. As you can see the square wave looked very chopped up and not regular. We'll go ahead and clear the fault again and show you that once more. So we will look at the oscilloscope here and as you can see there's all sorts of distortions and lines. We do not have a smooth square wave going to the output. There is some sort of problem either in the gate circuitry or the output module of this drive. Here we have for demonstration purposes a good clean square wave on the digital oscilloscope here. This is more of the wave we would want to see down here when monitoring the output of a drive. Obviously the drive will need to be fixed and corrected but this is one symptom that you would see if you had a motor that was running irregular or with strange frequency noises or doing some jumping back and forth out of a VFD. It could be a problem similar to this. We'll go ahead and clear the fault one more time so you can see it. Now we will hit the run button as you can see, yes, we have a bad waveform there. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our channel.